eligibility now for the COVID-19 vaccine. In this week's medical rounds, we're talking to the Senior Director of Infectious Diseases at Hartford HealthCare about what you need to know both about first vaccines and those boosters for kids. Uh, welcome, Dr. Grant. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we want to talk about this because how do the vaccines and boosters really help effectively prevent the spread of the virus? I want to give you a second to say that since some parents may be wondering if they should even get one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we continue to see the effect and the impact of this disease process, but we also continue to see the effectiveness of the actual vaccine itself. If you look in, you know, if you look at the data that we have within the hospitals right now, there's a number of patients that are within the hospital that are vaccinated, um, but truly the numbers that are unvaccinated are significantly higher. In fact, the patients that we have in our system at Hartford HealthCare that are uh, without a booster at this point are majority patients that occupy criti or critical care units. So the effectiveness of the vaccine is still very much a, a, a huge plus for us. And the safety itself has been proven over the last few months to be very, very good as well. And as we continue to look at the opportunity to you know, unmask kids in certain settings, um, the vaccine does create the best and safest way for them to be um, doing a normal thing as much as possible. Yeah, and why is it important? People might be saying, oh, kids, they don't get it that bad, or maybe they, my child already had it. Why do they need a COVID booster shot? That's actually a really good question. So you're right, a lot of kids don't have a huge impact from COVID-19. However, kids are a perfect vector. So in that, they have the ability to carry the disease, have very mild symptoms, but at the same, at the same time, they're going around, you know, older um, uh, grandparents and so forth. And we still continue to see a huge impact on our over 65 population. Um, additionally, we do have kids that are becoming, that have become very sick and we, we continue to have mortalities in our uh, pediatric population as well. And doctor, I know we're kind of running short on time, but I want to let everyone know you have a vaccine clinic at the uh, Connecticut Science Center. You're holding it for kids ages 5 to 11 this weekend, right? So anyone can take their kids 12 and under? Absolutely. So come on down. We're uh, partnering, as always, with our Connecticut Science Center, providing vaccination. Um, it's this Saturday. It's going to be from 9.30 to 1.30. And you can schedule your second dose and for March 12 at the same time. Perfect. All right, again, Saturday, February 19th, and kids ages 5 to 11, so under 12. It's a great spot to take your kids if you don't have it yet. Dr. Grant, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Have a good day. You too. And we have some folks with something to celebrate today. I want to wish you all a very happy birthday.